Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we break down the latest in crypto news in a way that's simple and easy to understand. Today we're going to be focusing on Cardano ADA and why there are four big reasons to stay bullish on this project. With all the markets ups and downs, some people are starting to wonder what's next for Cardano ADA. Well, social sentiment is strong, and the community believes in the long-term potential for Cardano ADA. From its strong development activity and growing DeFi ecosystem, there's an awful lot to be excited about. And let's not forget about those key partnerships and future upgrades that could push Cardano into a new phase of growth. Now, in today's video, we're going to break down each of these reasons, why they matter, and what the community is saying about Cardano Ada's future. So if you're holding Ada or thinking about jumping in, stick around for the full video because you're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. So let's kick off by diving into why Cardano remains a solid investment based on this particular article. Despite the market fluctuations, here are four key reasons to stay bullish on Cardano ADA. So look, the first one that's being called out in this um, article here is continuous development. Cardano's ongoing upgrades such as Voltaire, promise to be more decentralizing when it comes to you know the the cardano ecosystem so that is number one number two is the growing ecosystem with new projects cardano's ecosystem is thriving look these are like uh you know real world asset tokenization projects with the likes of uh, palmera you've got twin which is another you know, uh, to uh, total real world asset tokenization project. There's an awful lot going on when it comes to Cardano. Then you have institutional interest. There's ri rising uh, interest from institutions. Institutions are, you know, taking, I guess, notice of Cardano. And this is signaling long term trust. And then there's the staking rewards. Staking rewards, you know, from you know, ADA, you know, is still remaining lucrative according to this article so do you agree uh, that cardano is set for a bullish comeback you know drop your thoughts and opinions in the comments below really interested to get your views and opinions now the sentiment for this article uh, currently leans towards um, bullish i guess uh, with investors showing confidence in cardano's long-term growth strategy my opinion is that cardano has consistently continued to develop. Uh, it makes it a strong, solid contender in the blockchain layer one sector, especially when you know, you've got the upcoming governance enhancements. As much as I'm not really that keen on governance, um, you know, being in the hands of you know, people that I don't think have, I guess, the experience in order to make what I believe uh, are the right decisions for something that I'm invested in. I would much rather have Charles and, you know, people that have a good track record in, you know, this industry uh, leading uh, the the decision making. But that's that's me. That's my thoughts. You know, Charles and Cardano are really aiming to make Cardano the most decentralized blockchain in the world and in order to do that you do need decentralized governance just not you know sat well with me but that's just my thoughts my opinions where do you kind of feel on that topic and uh, maybe one for another day next up we've got uh is cardano about to uh, break through the 50 cent mark this is uh dan from uh, crypto capital ventures uh this guy is just constantly bullish um you know that's great if you know you want to hear what you you know you want to hear uh rather than you know what's actually happening in the crypto space but look you know no hate from me just these influences that are just constantly positive when actually there's some real negative uh you know information to be covered just you know it, for me it's just you know letting people hear what they want to hear and uh that's why people watch it but that's my opinion um you know he's basically uh just issued an unexpected timeline for this 50 cent breakthrough price surge suggesting that cardano could hit 
uh, this target sooner than most people think due to a combination of bullish fundamentals and strong technical setups. Now, do you agree or do you think this is just hopium, uh, you know, for, for the short term? You know, what do you think? Let me know. Do you think ADA can hit 50 cent uh, in the next few weeks? Or like I say, is it just hopium from Dan trying to, you know, again, just let his audience, um, you know, simp across uh, the, the line? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. The sentiment is cautiously optimistic. And I think Cardano's growth trajectory is solid. Uh, but, you know, for me, there's got to be some key resistance levels that we've got to be watching and monitoring to, you know, determine whether we're going to go up to this 50 cent mark. For me, there's more negativity uh, than what I would anticipate for us to break through that 50 cent. But I do think that it's going to happen. I do think that this bull run is going to be monstrous. And I do think there'll be no stopping the price discovery once the market narrative is positioned well. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Next up then, Cardano is ramping up its rivalry with Ethereum by launching its Layer 2 solution, Hydra. This innovation uh, or innovational technology is designed to significantly enhance the scalability of Cardano's blockchain, allowing it to process thousands of transactions per second. This could position Cardano as a serious competitor to Ethereum, especially in the decentralized finance DeFi space. So with this um, happening for Cardano, do you think that Cardano will be the next big thing when it comes to DeFi? drop your comments down below the sentiment for this uh, article surrounding cardano is bullish driven by its ongoing developments and a new push to complete uh, compete even with ethereum so look really interesting stuff and then we have Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, recently called out uh, Craig Wright in response to Wright's ongoing lawsuit claiming to be the creator of Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto, um, you know, again, Charles Hoskinson criticized Wright's legal tactics uh, and public claims, adding fuel to the broader debate about Wright's identity. This has sparked major reaction across the crypto community, with many questioning the implications of these lawsuits on the industry. But like, what's your take? Does it really matter? Who really gives a you know a shit about you know who Satoshi Nakamoto is? Um, you know, what do you think the impacts are going to be on the the crypto market? if any, right? Sentiment for this article is mixed with strong uh, opinions on both sides. For me, it just means nothing. Um, I, I, I like the speculation. It's fun. But, you know, I do kind of think like HBO and some of these media outlets are just playing on it, right? Hyping this stuff up, uh, saying that they know uh, when they clearly don't. And, uh, you know, I just... I just think the media needs to do better generally. But let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Uh, that's a wrap for Sunday's Cardano news. Hopefully this was an enjoyable video and you took something from it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care.